But we can start building this line going back to base. We should have sufficient amounts of steel beams. And we do have MK4s available, though I'm not really sure when I researched it. Oh, come on. I have to go uphill now. Oh, come on. I hate this pixel perfect shit that I have to do. But here we go. Wait a minute, did I ever finish the hyper tubes? I probably should double check this. I mean, it looks like I did. Before I go, let's double check this. If I did, then we'll just return through the hyper tubes. Right? Oh yeah, I did. Except it goes all the way down to the copper production area over there. Might as well take this, except there's nothing in here. All right. Now, how is this doing? We have lots of copper sheets coming out. So I think this is doing well. Let's go back. Oh my god, this is tedious. Probably should take a break soon. But we have plenty of resources in that area over there, should we need it. Like, I am familiar with this area from the previous playthrough. Not so much in this direction over here, but there is a limestone node somewhere over there that we can exploit, as well as lots of iron ore. We're just going to have to bring the coal over here in order to make more steel. Come to think of it, we could probably use some encased industrial beams or lots more of it. But this is slow considering we're moving uphill. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue building this line back to base. Got two more resources coming in, is the copper sheets and the circuit boards. Eventually, I will have to replace these with the encased industrial beams, and then after that, the aluminum... what's its face? I know it's more called more than just aluminum, but it's for the MK5s. Right now, we're just using MK3s. I do need to increase my production of encased industrial beams before I can really take advantage of the MK4s. Like, I already have lots in storage, but I need more. But not just more overall, but more production. Because we are going to use that in some other uh, products as well. Come on. 
Like there's gotta be an easier way to like aim at these things. Cause if because at times it just feels like I'm doing a pixel hunt. Like I'm aiming at like a few pixels at a time from a distance. So I have to get like real close in order to have any kind of accuracy. So I guess pixel hunt is the wrong word, wrong term to use, but you get what I mean? It's like there's only a few pixels that you need to point at in order to get a lock. And it can be annoying at times. And I'm almost out of steel. But we're almost there. And this is why I left room on this tower here. It's one of these poles here so that I can add more resources as time goes on. Oh, but I need steel beams right now. And second one should get me to the other side of the factory. Yes, it does. So easy access to these resources wherever I am. And we do have lots of encased industrial beams. So you know what? Let's use them now. And then we'll just uh, let's take like one full stack of steel beams. Oh, I did not want to do that. Let's not put the steel pipes in here. What I wanted to do is get like another stack of this. Oh, I probably should throw away this limestone. And let's get rid of the silica as well. So the silica goes over here. And then from there, I can actually just put like a container here for the circuit boards. Completely bypass this assembler line. Again, this is all just temporary. Now we'll put a merger right here and then connect this over here. So we'll put circuit boards in here once we get them. And I'm gonna put our MK4s on the hot bar right now. All right, let's go back, finish off the line. So going forward, I'm going to use the MK4s for the conveyors. Whoa. You know what? Probably should put foundations over here. And then we're very close by, so you know what? Yeah, let's just use the MK4s. Hmm. 
So I'm probably going to put this like so. All right, so we got the copper sheets and the circuit boards into the factory. I think for the time being, what I'm going to do is just store it. Store both of these resources right here. And this container needs to go the other way. There we go. This would just be temporary storage, but... We'll make it happen here. So I don't have the production yet to replace all of these MK3s, but at the very least, any new conveyor belts will be MK4s. And then we'll just replace them as needed. Now I'll take these circuit boards and we'll, we'll just put them into our makeshift location. Okay, next on the list, we need to get some fuel generators up and running. Now we'll put the circuit boards in here. Let's go to the third floor, get some motors, plastic rubber, and then we need the fuel production thing. And then we need to go and get the plastic rubber. We need to make some a packager so that we can make uh, the packaged fuel. So what I'm gonna do? Production. Yeah, the packager here. We need one of these. Now we're going to need. Key fuel generators. Let's make eight of them. So we need computers, plastic, rubber, heavy modular frames. Okay. Alright, back to the second floor, back to our makeshift production area. This is exactly why I made that. Get these computers over here. We'll do two stacks of that. Heavy modular frames will do three stacks of this. Now we need to get rid of our biomass and then we'll head over to our uh, thing. Our oil production area, that's where we'll put down our fuel generators. And then once we have that, we have a pretty good source of power. Put this in here though. Or no, the biomass up here. And do we have any wood? Yes, we do. Alright, so I guess I'll take it from the storage here. Actually, we need lots of rubber. Just take it from storage. Alright, let's store these organs and alien stuff. And get rid of the flower petals as well. And throw away the rest, I guess. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, probably should build another hypertube lime just so I can go from the hub to the uh, 
oil production area. Because a lot of times I'm actually doing that. I still need to get these slugs. Like, they're always glowing during the night. And, oh, there's a crash site over there. I don't remember seeing that before. So it looks like it's accessed through there. Probably should pass by there eventually. Okay, so... How's this doing? So, we have a nice stockpile of fuel. Probably should have brought more concrete with me. I'll have to make do with what I have right now. I guess it's more than enough. Let's get to it. Okay, let's put the pipelines in our hot bar here. So what I'm going to do is just have, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I can't believe I did that. I put the stack of motors into the milestone, so now I can't afford it. Damn it. But I'm also going to need to put the packager here. Uh, here seems like a good place for it. Or not. Hang on. Give it a little bit more space or maybe put it like this. Packaged fuel, and we do need like a constructor since we don't need that much. Actually, I think we can just do this. Just make a splitter over here. Oh, it's no longer in my hot bar, but we'll just we'll just bring it like so. Take empty canisters. I haven't actually put any th power uh, poles on the side of these machines before, I don't think. 
it's usually at the front or the back. Okay, let's put a power pole here. And then we'll put storage over here. And there we go. And then this will just fill up automatically without any intervention and if we need that package fuel we can just use it anyway what was I doing oh yeah cross junctions right here and then another cross junction over here So I'm basically doing something different than what I did in the last playthrough. We just do this. distance between these things. Here you go. Now we need to connect it. There we go. We have more power production now. And just for good measure, what I want to do is... Put a pump here. So all of that fluid will just move in this direction. We can always expand this further if we need to. Okay. I think we're done here. It's kind of unfortunate that I forgot about the motors. But oh well. We got more power now. 750, 3, and 4. 750 megawatts of power. And then let's just hope that our uh, fuel production can keep up. You know what? Let's bring some more motors just in case. Okay, it's on the third floor. 
Or since I'm already here, let's get the screws to our makeshift production area. Oh, that is a lot of screws. Just gotta make sure it's fully stocked with all the resources to continue producing stuff, even though the production isn't that fast. So it's better than nothing. Probably should add more of those encased industrial beams in there. This needs more pipes. This is getting low on screws. Yeah, so let's get some more screws. And why did I have to put this in the middle here? Okay, then after this... What was the next resource? I already forgot the next resource. Oh yeah, it's uh, the uh, circuit boards. Just fill it halfway and the rest of this can go in here. Because it takes a lot more screws. Alright, so now we go back. Get our circuit boards. Right in here, we have plenty of circuit boards all ready to go. Also have plenty of copper sheets. Might as well take from here. I do need to bring the motors over to our production area over there. Actually, probably should just leave it as is. We'll bring motors just in case, but... Well, maybe we should just bring the... motors and build the... fuel generators. That way, we just have to connect it. Because it seems to me like it's just going to burn all of that fuel... like, immediately. Without any notable... gain in power efficiency. Like, it just burns... Everything. Alright, well, there we go. And all of that will just go in here. 